Good evening. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us at the Potrero Yard Modernization Project's EIR scoping meeting. We're going to get started in a few minutes. We're going to let people trickle in, and I look forward to speaking with you all tonight. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us at the Potrero Yard Modernization Project EIR scoping meeting. My name is Laura Lynch and I am this, with the San Francisco Planning Department. I am the environmental coordinator for the project and this is the first step in the environmental review process. There will be other opportunities to comment. Also joining me tonight from the San Francisco Planning Department are Wade Whitgriff and Christina Fung. To participate in this meeting in Spanish, please read the slide and do the following. Sorry, it's not advancing, Laura. I'm sorry. Para escuchar en español, debe seleccionar Spanish. Esto es en Encuentra en el símbolo cerca sobre la palabra interpretación. Thank you for viewing the San Francisco Planning Department scoping meeting presentation. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and will be posted on the Planning Department's website. This evening we'll start out with a 10 minute presentation explaining the project, the California Environmental Quality Act, and how to comment at different stages of the environmental review process. This presentation that's about to be streamed is currently posted on the planning department's website. After the presentation, I will explain how to comment during this meeting. Presentation for the San Francisco Municipal Transportation. Thank you for viewing the San Francisco Planning Department scoping meeting presentation for the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency's Potrero Yard Modernization Project. The Planning Department is responsible for conducting the California Environmental Quality Act, or CEQA review, for all projects in San Francisco. This scoping meeting is an early step in the CEQA review process for the proposed SFMTA project. This step notifies the public that the Planning Department is preparing an environmental impact report or EIR and that we welcome your comments concerning the project's environmental effects by September 18th, 2020. This presentation will briefly describe CEQA, the proposed project, the CEQA schedule for this project, and how you can participate in the CEQA process. The planning department leads the CEQA process for projects in compliance with state law or statute, state guidelines, and local requirements. Here, the Planning Department is preparing an Environmental Impact Report, or EIR, for the proposed project. The purpose of CEQA and this project's EIR is to inform decision makers and the public of the project's potential environmental effects, to engage the public in the environmental review process, to disclose potential project impacts on the environment, and to avoid or reduce impacts with alternatives and mitigation measures. The EIR is prepared for the project prior to any final decision regarding whether to approve the project. The EIR, including the associated initial study, will describe the existing environment at the project site and vicinity for each of the topics shown here, 
such as air quality, noise, wind and shadow, and transportation and circulation. The EIR will then analyze the project's impacts to the existing environment and for cumulative conditions. Cumulative conditions are the environment assuming adoption of this project and other reasonably foreseeable projects in the vicinity. Now, the project. The SFMTA proposes to replace the Potrero Trolley Coach Division facility at 2500 Mariposa Street, Potrero Yard. The rectangular project site is located in the northeastern portion of San Francisco's Mission District, near the south of Market and Potrero Hill neighborhoods. The existing project site includes a trolley bus storage yard and a maintenance and operations building. SFMTA currently operates the site 24 hours per day, seven days a week, and has a design capacity for 138 trolley buses. Transit service demands for Muni routes operating out of the existing facility require that 158 trolley buses be stored and maintained at the existing facility, with trolley buses parked in circulation aisles and maintenance bays. The trolley buses operate on six Muni routes and carry over 102,000 Muni customers each day. The SFMTA proposes to rebuild and expand Potrero Yard to accommodate bus maintenance, operation, and administrative uses within a new structure occupying the full site. The proposed project is part of the SFMTA's 20-year building progress program to expand and modernize its facilities to meet growing transportation demands and changing technologies. The new Portrayal Yard structure would contain an approximately 75-foot-tall, three-level replacement transit facility for up to 213 buses with a mix of uses as part of a joint development program. The joint development program would include a ground floor commercial use of up to 30,000 square feet and residential lobbies. The majority of residential development would be on the 7th to 13th floors above the transit facility levels. The project is currently proposing up to 575 residential units, with approximately 50% of the units being below market rate. The Notice of Preparation describes the project's characteristics as they would occur if decision makers approve the project. However, as with most large development projects, Aspects of the project's conceptual design may change and will become more detailed as a result of the CEQA process, other regulatory requirements, and input from the planning department, the community, and other stakeholders. One such other stakeholder is a master developer to redevelop the project site. The SFMTA will select a master developer through a forthcoming selection process. This slide shows conceptual massing of the project along 17th Street. This massing may evolve as part of the developer selection process. For more proposed massing figures, please see the Notice of Preparation. The first step of the EIR process was the issuance of the Notice of Preparation of the EIR and Notice of the Scoping Meeting. We mailed this notice out on August 19, 2020, and are requesting oral and written comments on the scope of the EIR by September 18, 2020. The review period is your opportunity to provide early comments concerning the potential environmental effects of this project. Your comment should focus on significant environmental issues regarding this project, information that would help the environmental analysis, factors to consider in the environmental analysis, or mitigation measures or alternatives to the project that may reduce significant environmental effects. You can also inform us during this period if you want to stay informed of future planning department notices about the project. The planning department will take your comments during this 30-day period to inform the scope of the draft EIR. Our current schedule anticipates that we will publish the draft EIR, including its initial study, by early 2021. We will distribute a notice of availability of the draft EIR to interested parties. You will have an opportunity to provide input on the draft EIR during a 45-day public comment period, including a public hearing before the Planning Commission. Following the close of the draft EIR comment period, we will respond to comments received and make any updates to the draft EIR to reflect comments and project description changes.
We will distribute a responses to comments document to interested parties at least 10 days prior to a planning commission hearing on the final EIR. The final EIR will consist of the draft EIR and the response to comments document. We anticipate the planning commission will decide whether to certify the final EIR as adequate, accurate, and objective in late 2021. The Planning Commission certification of the EIR means the Planning Department met the requirements for CEQA review. The Planning Commission will separately decide whether to recommend approval or disapproval of the project to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors after the CEQA process is complete and potentially at that same hearing. The Planning Department will replay this presentation at a video and teleconference scoping meeting on September 2, 2020 at 6 p.m. You may attend this meeting using the video conferencing platform Zoom or via phone by calling 888-475-4499 and inserting meeting ID 925-7763-0409. Language services in Spanish will be available at the meeting. To request assistance in additional languages, please contact cpc.potreroyardeir at sfgov.org or call 628-652-7536 at least 72 hours in advance of the meeting to ensure availability. Again, the intent of the scoping meeting is for the planning department to hear from you regarding the environmental analysis for this project. You don't have to attend the scoping meeting to provide the planning department comments by September 18th. You may also email your comments to cpc.portreroyardeir at sfgov.org, call 628-652-7554, or mail your comments to Laura Lynch, San Francisco Planning Department, 49 South Van Ness Avenue, Suite 1400, San Francisco, California, 94103. For details on how to access the scoping meeting or more details regarding the project or the notice of preparation, please go to sf-planning.org forward slash sfceqadocs. Again, that's sf-planning.org forward slash docs. Thank you and take care. Hello again, I'm Laura Lynch. Planning Viewing Department. San Francisco Planning Department scoping meeting. Hello again, I'm Laura Lynch, Planning Department staff. Thank you for participating in the Potrero Yard EIR scoping meeting. The full notice of preparation is available online at http colon forward slash forward slash sf dash planning dot org forward slash sf docs. You may also contact me if you would like a hard copy. Please note that you don't have to provide comments verbally tonight. You can submit comments by September 18th, 2020 at 5 p.m. Written comments can be emailed to cpc.portreroyardeir at sfgov.org, or you can mail your comments to Laura Lynch, San Francisco Planning Department, 49 South Van Ness, Suite 1400, San Francisco, California, 94103. You can also call me at 628-652-7554. Please note that the goal of this meeting is for us to hear from you so we can shape the CEQA analysis. We're not generally here to respond to questions. If you would like to discuss the project further and afterwards, um, please give me a call or send me an email and, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Oral comments provided this evening will become part of the record. Please note again that all comments written or via phone are due September 18th and should be limited to the environmental refu review process. Such comments should address significant environmental issues, factors in the environmental environment to consider, suggested mitigation measures or alternatives to reduce environmental impacts, and to request to stay informed during the environmental review process. Again, this meeting is being recorded and will be posted on the Planning Department's website 
We ask that all participants remain mindful and that participants that are calling in from their homes and please use respectful language. And next slide, please. Thank you. If you would like to make a comment tonight, you are asked to use the raised hand function if you are joining us online or press star nine if you're joining via phone. The moderator will ask you to, uh, when, you're, when it's your turn, <laughs> we'll call on your, your name if you're joining online or we'll say the last four digits of your phone number if joining via phone. If joining via phone, you are encouraged to provide your name for the record. Once your name or number is called, please either unmute yourself on your digital device or press star six if you are calling in. Comments tonight are limited to three minutes, but you can still submit your comments in other forms such as writing or via phone until September 18th. I know this is a lot of information and don't worry, we will be toggling back between this slide and your three minute timer. Um, so when it's your turn to be called, you will have this information available. And let's start with the first commenter. Operations can, uh, this is, hello everyone, just by the way, my name's Wade Whitgraff. I uh, work at the San Francisco Planning Department. I'll be working with Laura on this project. Um, look forward to hearing your, com your comments. So um, operations, could you let the, the first call-in user um, to unmute and just press star six um, to submit your comments? Call in user, I, I believe you've been allowed um, it, and you might be speaking now. Can you Hello? hear me now? Yeah. I can hear you. Thank you. Okay, this is David Pilpel calling. Um, I'm not yet prepared to make comments. I will be in a couple of minutes, but I want to start out by saying that I tried logging in with Zoom and Zoom requires an email address. I don't use email and so I'm not able currently to participate on Zoom. That's limiting my participation. I could not watch the slides. I could not see any of you. I've used Zoom before and this is the first time it's required an email address. Is that something you can fix now, tonight, or not? Uh, no, we're, we're requiring registration uh, due to um, concerns about access. Uh, but we can send you, um, or you can access the video online, David. I, I um, understand that. What concerns about access uh, are driving that decision? Because I've participated in a number of city meetings on all kinds of platforms, and this is the first time I've been required to use an email address, which I don't have. Yes, David, there's been um, other issues in other uh, city meetings where we've been um, infiltrated by people that are not respectful and this is why we require registration. Okay, well I'm just saying that is limiting my participation. There's a meeting happening right now on Teams that doesn't require uh, an email uh, address. The MTA board meetings don't require email. The Board of Supervisors, um, uh, other city uh, bodies and committees. So, you know, this is the only thing I've encountered recently that's requiring an email address and that's absolutely limiting my participation. And I object to that on the record. I don't think that's a necessary constraint that you've placed. Noted. Um, do you want to submit your comments now, David? We will restart the timer. Why don't you go to see if there's somebody else? I'm going to need about another two minutes to uh, finalize my verbal comments here. All right. Then you can circle back to me. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I currently don't see anybody else in the queue. Would anyone else like to submit comments? Please raise your hand or if you're calling in, um, we can unmute you and press star six.
please press star nine to raise your hand if you're calling in. Thanks, Sarah. Well, we will just wait and see if anybody else wants to participate while Mr. Propel is um, gathering time. That is fine. And to those who are um, in attendance but don't want to submit comments right now, if there's no one else after Mr. Pilpel, we will stay on the line for another um, 10 minutes if anybody else would like to submit comments. But um, if you drop off before then, I just really want to extend my gratitude for joining on this evening from wherever you are um, and hope you're doing well. Okay, I think Mr. Popel might be uh, available again. Uh, Can you hear me now? Yes, go ahead. Okay, um, so you already got my first point about public participation. I note that there's another EIR scoping meeting next Wednesday about the waterfront uh, plan. Perhaps by then you can adjust Zoom so that it does not require uh, an email address if that's the platform you're going to use next week for that EIR scoping meeting. I object strongly to having to use email. Uh, can I go on to my comments about this project? Please. Okay. So, and I can write these up and send them in as well so that you have them that way. If I was on uh, Zoom or Teams, I could drop it into a chat box and you'd have it right there, but that's apparently not happening right now. So as to project assumptions, um, I believe the housing market, housing needs, and transit operations should be reassessed due to economic and transportation demand changes resulting from the virus emergency. As to the project budget, is this still a necessary project given agency uncertainties and capital deferrals? As to project need and I guess delivery, what is uh, MTA or the agency's ability to actually uh, deliver the project? As to project approach, how was facility replacement, which is apparently what's proposed now, versus facility rehabilitation considered? 
as to the historical features, how are the historical features of the existing building, which is over 100 years old, uh, being addressed? As to parking and transportation, I believe it is unfair and unreasonable to have no on-site parking for employees with 4 a.m. start times or 2 a.m. end times. That issue needs to be reconsidered. As to project context, what is the project's relationship to the overall MTA building progress program? As to fiscal feasibility, does this project need a finding under Administrative Code Chapter 29? And finally, future notices. Please do keep me informed about the project, both through MTA and the Planning Department. MTA as to the project itself and planning as to the environmental uh, issues and under CEQA. I believe that Laura Lynch is the uh, point person at uh, planning the main point person, although Wade is involved and perhaps others, and um, Adrian Heim, I believe, is still the contact person, among others, at MTA, along with, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Popo. Were, were those comments all pretty clear? Yes, I heard them, um, okay. and they were clear. Thank you. All right, excellent. Yeah. And, and as I say, I can also get them to you so that you have them for the record. Thank you for taking my comments. All right, have a good evening, thank you. Thank you. Um, so, uh, as I mentioned before Mr. Pilpel went, um, we'll stick around for a few minutes, but I do wanna um, uh, offer to see if anybody else has comments. And Laura, did, were the, was there anything else that you also wanted to say? Um, I think we we were just going to wrap up, so we'll we'll give people a, a couple more minutes to comment. And if there's no one who would like to participate tonight um, orally, that's completely fine. I'm just going to remind everyone that we welcome your feedback and look forward to hearing from you to help uh, shape the environmental review for this project. Um, so we'll give you a few more minutes, and then I'll remind you again on how you can comment outside of this meeting. Thank you. So we're going to take one more minute, just a reminder, uh, if you would like to participate in submitting your comments on the Petrero Yard Environmental Impact Report, please raise your hand. Um, I don't think we have any other call-in users at the moment, so, um, but if you are calling in, um, you can press star six.
Well, thank you. Um, I really appreciate those um, in attendance this evening. This is um, uh, this is only one platform, as uh, Laura said, to submit your comments. So there are still a couple of weeks, and I'll turn it back over to Laura. Thanks, Wade, and thank you all again for listening in and participating. Uh, I just want to remind you that our environmental documents related to the project are available on our website at sf-planning.org forward, forward slash sf docs. Um, you may also submit written comments by September 18th, 2020 by email to eir at sfgov.org by mail to Laura Lynch, San Francisco Planning Department, 49 South Van Ness Avenue, Suite 1400, San Francisco, California, 94103, or feel free to give me a call at 628-652-7554. I look forward to getting your comments and to discussing the project as it moves forward through the environmental review process. So thank you again, I really appreciate your participation.